Hello friends, welcome to the Concepts of Geology, the online platform where we are learning crystallography now. Till now we have completed 7 classes and today on the 8th class we are going to learn about the Breve lattices or space lattices. Okay, so let's begin. Remember on the last class we were discussing about the three dimensional arrangements of atoms or motive points. Okay, uh, we have already learned about these three dimensional uh, lattices those were called uh, space lattices on this 3d arrangements we discussed we may have two types of unit cells first one was primitive and the second one was this one non primitive okay in the case of primitive unit cells we had seven basic shapes and according to them the entire universe of uh, crystal or the minerals were grouped into seven crystallographic systems on the other hand, in case of non-primitive unit cells, there were uh, three types, okay, body-centered, end-centered and face-centered uh, unit cell. On the last day, we discussed them in terms of orthorhombic unit cell. So, we also made our conception very clear that whatever the unit cell may be, that means it may be primitive, uh, body-centered, end-centered or face-centered, whatever, the shape of the unit cell will be one of the basic seven uh, steps okay so this was the background till now today we are going to learn a very important and interesting topic that is the types of space lattices or the total possibilities of unit cells in three dimension so when we are thinking of the 3d arrangements it seems that it's not so hard to calculate how many probabilities exist because we have seven basic steps okay uh, and according to them we have seven crystal systems and each steps may have four types of uh, arrangements okay uh, i mean primitive end centered face centered and body centered okay so the total probabilities of 3d arrangement should be 7 into 4 equal to 28 types of lattices this is very much logical and uh, easy to understand also but this is not the case we may have maximum 14 types of distinct arrangements only i mean only 14 space lattices are possible this observation was made by auguste bravi in uh, 1848 who was a french scientist and after his name these space lattices are called bravi lattices so clearly that means all the seven systems are not having four variants let's first see the list of the 14 bravi lattices so this is the table where it is uh, shown that which crystal system is allowing what type of uh, arrangements okay observe here triclinic system is only permitting one uh, type of lattice that one is primitive okay monoclinic system has primitive and body centered lattice orthorhombic system may have four types of variants now interestingly when we are coming to the uh, trigonal system we may have a primitive unit cell okay this is the rhombohedron the inclined cube and again on the hexagonal division when we are uh, thinking about the body centered unit cell we are having the rhombohedron unit cell again so that means the rhombohedron unit cell may be treated as the primitive unit cell in case of trigonal division and body centered unit cell in case of a hexagonal crystal system you may place it either here or here okay next on the hexagonal system we may have primitive or this rhombohedron if you are not placing it here on tetragonal system we may have primitive and body centered and in case of cubic system we are not having the end centered variety okay so if you count this we will have uh, 14 types of lattices in cumulative i know a huge confusion always exist about the trigonal and hexagonal system and about this uh, rhombohedron unit cell okay so i have prepared an exclusive class for that topic okay we will discuss this one on the next class okay now the variants are understood but the main question is coming here that uh, why those gaps were existing in that table okay i mean why all the crystal systems were not permitting all the four types of arrangements like orthogonal system there are two reasons behind this first of one is the redundancy or the duplicity in some cases a particular lattice arrangement become duplicated with uh, other arrangements okay so one of them should be discarded and the second factor is sometimes the symmetry of the lattice does not permit all the four arrangements okay we will discuss both these with 
illustrations. First, I am coming with the example of redundancy or duplicity. Okay, think of the triclinic system where we told that we may have only primitive unit cells in case of triclinic system. Now, remember in the case of triclinic system, there were no constants on the angle and the sides of the unit cell. Okay, all angles were general and no sides were equal. So, whatever the stacking pattern you may choose, okay, this may be this type of inclination, this type of inclination or vertical, whatever the uh, stacking pattern you may choose, the three dimensional unit cell will be a primitive one because we may just take any eight motifs and joining them with lines, we may make a unit cell, okay. So, what I am trying to say is that uh, whatever unit cell you may produce in case of a triclinic system, I mean body centered, face centered, whatever you may produce, there will be always an option to choose a primitive unit cell, okay. Any unit cell may be a primitive one. The other possibilities are just not needed here, clear. Let us take one more example. Think of this monoclinic unit cell, okay. If I take one more motif on this center, this unit cell is becoming a body centered monoclinic unit cell. But remember the table where we are told that face centered uh, monoclinic unit cell is not existing. Why? Because if you are trying to make a face centered monoclinic unit cell, it is going to be redundant or duplicate with the body centered monoclinic unit cell. Concentrate on this picture, okay. We have vertically stacked two body centered monoclinic unit cell, okay. So, this is now maybe think of like this, this may be a face centered monoclinic unit cell also. Think of the unit cell like this one, okay, this inclined one. Observe these two points, those were actually on the center of these vertical uh, unit cells, okay. These are laying on the center of the faces of this inclined monoclinic unit cell, okay. So, as because the lattice can be extended up to infinity in any direction, then this body centered monoclinic unit cell may be uh, treated as the face centered monoclinic unit cell okay or the vice versa. So, what I am trying to say is that simultaneously we cannot take a face centered unit cell and a body centered unit cell in the table for the monoclinic crystal system. This is going to be redundant or duplicate okay. So, those were the examples of redundancy or duplicacy. Now, the symmetry problem. Now, think of this cubic unit cell okay. We told that n centered cubic unit cell is impossible. Why? Because in case of cubic arrangements, lattice points are having similar type of environments in any directions, okay. So, that means the packing in case of cubic arrangements is just similar in any three dimensions and that results in the equivalency of the eight faces of a cube. This is the symmetry of the cubic system, okay. When I am trying to create a n centered cubic unit cell, clearly observe that this point is having only the center of this face and on this face, okay. This and this face are lacking these center points, but how this can be possible in case of a cubic arrangements because all the faces are equivalent in case of the cubic system. So, cubic n centered lattice is not possible due to the symmetry issue, but think this problem was not existing in case of orthonomic unit cell, okay. Because in case of orthonomic unit cell, all the faces are not equivalent rather this and this faces were equivalent and this face and this face were uh, equivalent, okay. This may be explained again from the view of the redundancy or duplicacy, okay. Actually what we were trying to create the n centered cubic cell, actually this is tetragonal primitive cell, okay. I am placing two n centered cubic cell side by side and when I am joining these points, I am getting a primitive tetragonal unit cell, okay. So, I think now you were understanding why the all systems are not permitting all types of arrangements. I have provided only some examples you may exercise on your own with the other variants. So, in summary, keep in mind that only 14 types of three dimensional arrangements are possible and these are called Bravais lattices and all the 14 Bravais lattices will have the safe within these seven basic uh, steps, okay. I mean they will be classified within the seven crystallographic system, okay. So, this was for today. We will meet again on the next class with the point of the rhombohedral unit cell and the confusion of hexagonal and trigonal system. Till then, goodbye.